Okay. So now we have our model, right? And um, I made the project already over here on my second screen, so I'm going to be referring back and forth because there's quite a bit to remember here. So now that we have a model, let's go ahead and save this. Go back to the Solution Explorer. And then we need to use, we need to add another controller now. We need to use it. We need to add a user controller. User controller. And then the user controller is going to have a few um, actions in here. Action result login. Return view. And this is going to be a HTTP get. This is going to be used um, when we initially go into the login screen. And then uh, we're going to have overloaded off that same method uh, login in here. And this is going to be a, what's the name of our project? Simple system.models.user model. And then we're going to pass in a user here. And in here, we're going to do the validation. So this is going to be a HTTP post. Okay. So when we click login in the view, it's going to return our user that we collected from the user input. And then we're going to do some validation in here. Um, what else? What else do we have? We have a um, HTTP get in here for the registration and then we have overloaded of that so this again this is when you initially go into the registration um, we're not doing anything here but simply displaying the registration form but after the user enters the information, then we're going to do a post. And then, make sure we spell both the same. And then in here, we're going to pass the user back. And it looks like this is redundant. When you see this in gray like this, because it's redundant. So there's no need to validate that much further. OK. So let's go ahead and create a couple of these views. I'm going to add view. Go back to my user controller. Add view. And then, as you can see, let's return view as well. We already have that. And then we return view here as well. And then we need to create this. So double click, right click, add view, and then we're going to inherit from the master. Okay. Go ahead and close a couple of these things right here. Uh, save it. Let's reopen this. Okay. One thing that uh, we should do right now it's actually bring in that library that I told you about so I'm gonna to go to manage a new get packages in here and I'm gonna type in simple crypto that's the library that we're looking for so install this library really easy to use really easy to store your password really easy to um, so really easy to encrypt and decrypt your password okay so what else we need? Oh, we need a private function here. We need to validate the username and password string, which is actually email and a string password. OK. We're going to return a bool value in there. valid equals false return 
is valid. All right, a lot of things so far that um, that we're doing, a lot of the infrastructure, but it's necessary. Okay. Um, so in the uh, is valid function in here, we're going to instantiate that simple crypto class, this reference that we have in here. So let's do this. Var crypto equals new simple crypto dot pbkdb pbkdf2 so that's the type of encryption actually that we're we're going to be using and in here what we're going to do is um, first of all we're going to pull the user out of the database so if you watch the entity frameworks uh, uh, tutorials you're familiar with this part so user db uh, using db equals new uh, main db context and then in here we're gonna get the user so if exists right equals db dot system users dot first or default where user goes to user dot email equals the email that a user entered okay so if that's correct so if something got returned from so right now we're simply getting the user we're not validating the password yet we're simply pulling the user out um, because the user also has the salt and we need that in order to validate the password so I'm gonna say if the user um, is not equal to null we're gonna do some um, we're gonna continue to validate and so if the user is not equal to null then if user dot password equals to crypto dot compute it's going to be the uh, password that the user inputted and this is the text password so password one two three your you know whatever name you want to use um, ABC you know one two three whatever this is this is that password that is coming in okay plus the salt the salt it's going to be um, is stored with the user and don't feel discouraged right now uh, I'm going to explain that further okay and this is equal in there so is valid equals true so this is our validation process and I'm gonna step through the whole thing I'm gonna debug through the whole thing so then you can understand so I just want to show you um, exactly what we're doing here so far okay so we have so we have this part done so now we have the controller we have the model let's work on the views okay um, and the home view there's nothing here on the user view we have to create a few forms the index view stays the same we're not touching that 